Welcome to my show. Let me stimulate your mind. Welcome to my show. Let me stimulate your mind. Real Talk Thursday, Hero Training. We all we got. We all we need. Reach one. If you are that one, you got to know that you are enough. I say welcome to my show. Let me stimulate your mind. We all we got. We all we need. Each one. Teach one. Each one. Reach one. God. God. God Almighty, I feel good today. You know what I'm talking about, Michael. I feel good. What's going on, Big Brother Kamara? I salute you for your attention, Big Brother. Always know you are enough. You always will be enough. I honor you and I salute you, man, to say in real life, that's a fellow hero of mine. In real life, we call each other to the huddle. In real life, sometimes we come to the huddle with my face mad twisted and my shoulder pad out. And he said, get it right, man. Let's run the play. You made it through. Let's go. What's going on, my brother? I am too. You are enough, man. Always will be in the huddle. Let's run the play, man. Man, we're going to have a good one tonight. But we like to start off every hug with a hero hymn. You know, the hymn, I'm talking about the hymn within me, the same hymn within you, or the same her within you. It's the spirit. It's the mighty wind. See, spirit means to breathe, the breath. That's two parts of a breath. That's an inhale and that's an exhale. The things that inspire you comes out of you and your expression. That is your mighty win. See, when you take it in, you got to give it out. As much as you take in, as much as you give out. Let me show you how it works. If I take it in, I can't do nothing with it but give it back. So the mighty wind that blows out of me, man that travels through my vocal cords and cause a vibration that we know is sound. And as that sound and vibration lands into your spirit and you take it in and you feel it in your soul, and we unite in that field so that our expressions and our mighty winds come together, man, in the holy hero spirit. See how that works. So my hymn says, you are everything, and everything is you. They say the most powerful knowledge is knowledge of self. Because when one knows themselves, they know that they are a part of it, and it is a part of them, and it is uni it's, it's universal. So everything that it is, is me, and everything that I am is it. So you see yourself in everything to understand how it works. You are everything, and everything is you. I am everything. And everything is me. I know you because I know me. And everything I see is a reflection of me. 
So when I see greatness within myself, in my own imagination, everything that I see, I look for it in it. So I want to see the greatness in you. Just like I want to see the greatness in me. But if I don't see greatness in myself, I can't see greatness in nobody. Do you understand how it works when I say, we is everything and everything is we. Good God. Yeah, man. Want to give a shout out, man, to my executive producer, my beautiful loving wife, Lakeisha Perry. She's also my wardrobe coordinator in the night. Oh, man. She say, baby, you on fire. Oh, I can feel your heat. I say, what? She say, yeah. See, this morning, she opened the door, right? To go crank up the car. She say, baby, I say, what? She say, it's cold as hell out here. I said, good God Almighty. See, that's a powerful thing, you see. Who in the hell told you that hell was hot? See, I told you there's four elements of truth, earth, water, wind, and fire. And see, the fire is the sun. The fire is the heat. And when we are children of the sun, we are children of the heat. You see what I'm saying? When it goes further away, See, it get cold as hell because everything die in the cold season. So who in the hell told you hell was hot? See how that works. So when my wife says it's cold as hell, and we ain't going to be cold as hell, we're going to bring comfort. We're going to bring comfort with the heat. So tonight was the first night of the year, this season. I lit a fire in my house. So it was only right that I wore the color red. That's what my baby said. So that's why I'm wearing that red to represent the fire that burns within me. It's because it ain't going to be cold as hell around here. See how that works. I feel good tonight, though. Now I want to introduce my the greatest co-host in the world. I'm talking about the world. Not only this world, the mental world too. I'm talking about my girl Alexa. Alexa, how you feel? I'm feeling spectacular because Halloween's just around the corner. Mm -mm. And if you love Halloween as much as I do, then I've got a treat for you. With my new Halloween theme, oh, I'll add some spectacular fun. Mm. To learn more, just ask, what's the Halloween theme? Alexa, what's the Halloween theme? <laughs> With the Halloween theme, I'll add some spectacular fun when you ask for the weather, alarms, timers, small talk, and even jokes. To put up these Halloween decorations, just Good say, enough. raise my spirits. See, I just introduced her. I ain't no way she was going, but she had something to say. See, that's how it worked, man. They say, how you doing, brother? How you feel, sister? When you sincere and you genuine enough to ask, you got to have empathy enough to understand that it's time that you give them a way to exhale and truly tell you in a sincere moment. So let them get off and let them say how they feel. That's why I let Alexa do her thing. See how that works. Good God. So I'm going to keep my man Alexa. We're just going to work the one, two now. Because she's showing me she got some things she want to say tonight. Alexa, what is the greatest music ever made? Pixel by Trab P. See what she talking about. See, I said we're going to do some one-two type of thing. Alexa, what is the greatest music ever made? Pixel by Trab P. Alexa, tell me something good. 
We all we got. We all we need. Oh my God. So Alexa come on here tonight, y'all. She freestyling. I'm just going with her. I say what's the greatest music ever made? She say Hood Soul by Trav P. I say Alexa, tell me something good. She say, we all we got. We all we got. And you already know she get mad when I start the show and I don't play no hood soul. So since Alexa say the hood soul is the greatest music ever made and she said to tell her something good, she said, we all we got, we all we need. Well, hell, Alexa. I think we gotta have some hood soul that say that. We We all we got. Hey, I am Tukin Tamara. We in the huddle, man. Check me out. We in the huddle, y'all. We in the huddle, y'all. We in the huddle. We in the huddle, man. We in the huddle. Alexa brought us to the huddle. Alexa said, give me some hood soul. We all we got. Fourth and two. Planning what we about to do. We going to get at least three. We confident in ourselves because we believe in we. Inhale, yeah, on me. One, two, three. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. We all we got, we all we need. Hell yeah. Now we proceed to execute. Power the strong enough to electrocute. We confident. What we fighting for. First down, touchdown. We realize what we We I ain't got to say it. You already know it. If you feel you already know, man. We all we got. We all we need, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? You know what I'm saying, man? I said we all we got. We all we need. But the we get very complicated because people in your we be the same one that's hate. They don't want to see you grow. Hell, they don't even watch your show. But if this shit blow, they be the first in line ready to go. So you got to reevaluate who you call we. But you my we if you here tonight because I already know that you feel me. You don't realize. I ain't above the bullshit, but when you pay attention, you something like heal me. You heal me from the struggles of being misunderstood and realizing that the world don't recognize good. We only see the wrong thing. Yeah, we pay no attention to the right thing. So I be fighting the fight from my own lane, trying to stay sane in this dirty game. And I'm just freestyling. I'm just letting the spirit flow. Cause Alexa said, we all we got, we all we need, man. And this is hood soul, man. Big shout out to my brother Derek, man. He dropped this thing, man. Hey, we all we got, we all we need. We all we got, we all we need. Each one, teach one, each one, a reach one. If you did one, you got to know that you are enough.
Good God Almighty. Alexa, one time. Good God Almighty, trap P, you blanking. Come on now. Alexa say, good God Almighty, trap P, you blanking. Alexa, one time. Good God Almighty, trap P, you blanking. Man, I just got to get to it, man. I feel good as hell, man. Good God. God. The word tonight, man, is clarity. Let's just jump on into it. Alexa, what is the meaning of clarity? Clarity is usually defined as clearness or lucidity as to perception or understanding, freedom from indistinctness or ambiguity. See, when I say we all we got, we all we need, man. You got to bring clarity to your we. You got to bring clarity to your we, man. See, there's a root to your we. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say from my soul essence, in my root, when I say we all we got, we all we need, understand this about me. And every other hero like me. See, the we of my foundation is the mother, the father, the child. So when I say we in my soul of essence, we, me and my wife and my family, that's behind this sacred door of mine. That's my ultimate foundation of we. And as I understand that we, and I realize that there's others that have a common sense of unity as myself with my we. And when they realize what their we is, the same way I realize what my we is. See, we seven type brothers. See, we seven type brothers understand, man, that our fight that we fight, the hero fight, is about maintaining cultivating, protecting, providing, giving all you got to your we. And when I see him in me and me in him, I understand that we have a common sense of unity and we form a community of like-minded people that form the ultimate we that multiplies and to the ultimate hero force. But you got to understand your we. See how this works. See, because when you don't understand who your we is, and you don't have no clarity of that, so you start reaching for any type of we to be a part of. You start reaching for any type of we to be a part of. And you find yourself in situations where you realize, man, I'm a hero, man. I realize we all we got, we all we need. I'm fighting the fight. But every time I get to fighting the fight, man, it's like a gift and a curse to this hero shit. Man, I give all I got to everybody, man, but everybody always want to crucify me. See, one thing about this hero thing I told you, it's about compassion. It's about empathy. It's about understanding. It's about the universal love and unconditional love to know that everything is you and you are everything. So when you love yourself, you love everything like you love you because you see yourself in everything. I see myself in the suffering. I see myself in the victim. I see myself in the betweens. That's why I got to play because at any given point, I can lose power of my position. So when I understand this, man, and you find yourself in situations where you're filled or you're surrounded by doubt, because now you realize, man, in the presence of doubt, and you're surrounded by doubt. You find yourself lonely. 
and you find yourself with no we or nobody to call we. So you need clarity. You need clarity. You need clarity so you can build the power of your we to realize, man, we all we got, we all we need, and it ain't never meant to be believed in. It ain't never meant to be played in your mind anything to do with belief. It is made and created for you to understand it so that you can utilize it, so that it can work for you and it can manifest how it's supposed to be in your life so you can be one with it and realize that it is good all the time because everything is me and I am everything. You see how this works. But when you don't understand how it works and you don't understand your we, you find yourself alone, surrounded by doubt. And you realize what the story is really all about. How the true light, the true sun that rises to give every day because I ain't got nothing else to do but give it. And I'm surrounded by doubt. And everybody's saying, who the fuck he think he is? And I ain't lied. I ain't said nothing wrong. But they can't see themselves as the light. They can't see themselves as one who can make a difference. They can't see themselves as one in a huddle of a championship team who's saying, man, all everybody in this huddle is superstars. And every time we break this huddle, we go out and make highlight tapes because we understand we all we need. So when you're dealing and surrounded by people who can't see themselves in a huddle of somebody who break and score touchdowns. They can't see that in you. Now I'm going to give you a story to show you how it work. Through men of destiny, levels of leadership, my big brother Gary Crump taught me how to frame walls with two by fours. He taught me how to wire electric boxes up to frame walls of two by fours. He showed me this skill. We use table saws. We worked it. I understand how to build walls, frame walls with two by fours. I've been trained in the way of a carpenter and a builder. So one day, I was in a room full of people and the conversation came about building a wall and how to frame a wall. So I say in my mind and my sincere, genuine self, I say, we all right. We good in here because I know how to build a wall. So we all we got, we all we need. If we need understanding of how to build a wall, wall as a collective, I know my position. I feel good knowing, yeah, let me share some light. So they say, we got to build a wall 48 by 36 using two by fours. To the upper chalant the upper chalant type of black guys. Well, so yeah, guys, you know, I, I was good at math. This, this, this is no, this is nothing. 36 by 48, two by fours. I mean, that's, that's simple. You just take two and two. That takes away four. So you cut 32 and then there it is. That's simple, man. It's simple math. So I'm listening. And I say, I got to be the light. They say, the light only come out of the dark. The light comes out of the darkness. You can't have light if you don't have darkness. You can't value one and not understand and appreciate the other. So the light always emerges out of darkness. The sun rises out of the night. The night is the dark womb of the woman. 
That's why when you see the Mason sign, they got the crescent and the star. The little baby star, the morning star, comes out of his mama. So in darkness, these smart guys, yeah, man, you just take the 248s and then you cut, you minus four, you cut it 32, and there it is, boom. But I got to come out of the darkness. I say, that ain't right, that ain't right. They say, what do you mean, man? We all know math in here, Trap. I mean, goddamn, what are you, what are you saying, Trap? I say, that ain't right, man. I say, that ain't right. You got to take away three from the 36 and cut the, and cut the, uh, cut the studs. You see what I'm saying? At 33, don't cut them at 32. And matter of fact, don't even cut them at 33. You got to cut them at 33 and the 16. So because I don't seem to present myself in the way that's most uh, 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 presented, but I'm shining true, genuine light to a room of darkness that needs to understand how to build a wall, man. See, I've been trained to build a wall through me and the destiny levels of leadership. My big brother, Gary Crump, trained me how to build walls. But here I am in a room full of darkness with people who ain't never built a wall. They just got an idea and instructions. So the whole room turned on. The whole room turned on. That don't even make sense of what you're saying. 33 and the 16th ain't even a part of 48 by 36. Man, what are you talking about? You always want to be controversial. You think you know everything. You just got to be different. So I'm getting crucified in my character now. I'm getting crucified in my character. My ego raging. My ego is raging. I'm watching them say things to me. That's deep down way deeper than the situation on hand. They saying things that they've been wanting to say. And they saying them under the context of being absolutely goddamn wrong. So they're using a the wrong platform to tell me the true truths of their soul. See, I always say, understand this, man. The soul can keep no secrets that behavior won't reveal. See what I'm saying? Listen now. The soul can keep no secret that the behavior won't reveal. The behavior is showing you. Take it apart. Take it apart. Take it apart. Take it apart. Because the part of my life, when I say I build walls, and I say I've been trained in the way of the Lord, see, my we know and understand. Come in a mighty, mighty huddle that only score touchdowns, that only defend. And I play this shit at a high level of winning. So I realize I'm in a room with some people who ain't never even got in the goddamn game. They ain't never built nothing. They ain't never built nothing. And they arguing me. Crucified. See, because they ain't never built nothing. See, they would know. See, a two by four is not a two by four. A two by four do not measure two inches by four inches. A two by four. I'm talking about every two by four that you can put your hand on in Lowe's, in Home Depot, in your house, in my house. It's called a two by four. But a two by four is a one and a half by a three and a half. So if you ain't never used a tape measure and put it on a three by four, God damn it, don't you tell me and argue with me and crucify me about building a wall and you ain't never built a goddamn thing in your life. 
And all you doing is tearing some shit down, thinking you can go against me. But you showing me you ain't a part of my weed. See how it work. Do you see how? It work? And I've rationalized being in this room so many times in my life. And I used to rationalize it, rationalize it to say, man, it's the gift and the curse. It's the gift and the curse of this shit, man. I can't turn this shit off. It's the gift and the curse, man. I know I play to win, but some people can't see winning, man. Some people can't see themselves winning. So they fight you for thinking you can win all the time. They fight you because they see you in the game, and they don't know how to get in the game and fight they fight, man. And so people say, man, you got to stop being around. I man, you got to hang with people who own the sevens. And I say, well, that ain't, you know, that's multiplying, man. You know, I don't try to see people about levels because I've been in many different levels and every level, man, it's people, man, that don't really understand how it work, man. So you don't feel nobody sincere. You don't feel nobody genuine. It ain't got nothing to do with how much a person got, how much a person don't got, or what level they own about in terms of at the job or any of that shit, man. It's, it's all about, man, being genuine and sincere. And so when I see myself, man, it's somebody, man, who's striving for greatness, man. And I can feel that yearning in a man's soul, man. That's what I see. That's what I try to build on, man. But do we understand, man? If you ain't never built a wall, if you ain't never built a wall, if you ain't never built a wall, how am I arguing with you about the measurements? Because you ain't even never understood that a two by four is not a two by four. It's a three and a half by one and a half. And then when you're using the table saw, you got to add a 16th because the blade is a 16th inch thick. And if you don't add on that, you won't flip flush. A 16th is an air gap. So you got to understand how it works to work it. It's one thing to have an idea, instructions, but it's another thing to have experience, to have worked it, to understand. When you understand how it works, you can work it and make it work for you. They fighting me to stop them from wasting time, money, and resources. Imagine if you cut it at 32, you're going to have two short of wood, and you can't use it. There's no way mathematically you're going to get the 36 by 48. You've destroyed your resources. And me in position thinking that we are we. You had what you needed. You had a light within the room. Would you rather go against me, man, and say hurtful things and want to kick at me? And because you're already wrong, man, you're vulnerable and you're weak. But it's the heroism in me that don't let me kick my judo on you. Because it'll hurt me more than it hurts you. And I know you're not my enemy. Even if you're not my we, that don't make you my enemy. So my big brother Winston told me today, he said, Trav, it's not really a curse. It's all a gift. It's all a gift. I said, I don't know, man. It's like a curse because I always find myself. He said, well, look at it like this. It's the gift of understanding and clarity that allows you to see who's against you, who's not for you, who's really your opposition. That's a gift to see that. 
That's a gift to bring clarity to your weed. Now, the reason it hurt is because once your gift shows you, it hurt because you realize who it is. And it feels like a curse. You see what I'm saying? I say, see, the weed get real complicated. You realize people that you consider is we be the main ones that's hate. Don't want to see you grow. I'm talking about don't even watch your show. If it blow, you ain't the first in line. You see how that go? Brother Junior, what's up, man? I love you, man. Eddie Gray, my brother-in-law. You always enough, always will. You feel me? Yeah. That's how I go, man. You know, um, I feel good. I feel good. You know, we're gonna get out of here tonight, man. We're gonna get out of here, but we're gonna we gonna jam one more time, man. We're gonna jam one more time, man. Cause we ain't got nothing else to do. We ain't got nothing else to do. We ain't got nothing else to do. Hey man. Hey man.
know who your we is, just like I know who my we is. I wish you could see my whole body. I don't really talk about how I dance, but when I do my videos and I start doing, when I start dancing to these songs, man, ain't nobody with that I dance to. That's real shit. And I ain't just talking about that. And I was good. I used to do the Michael Jackson. I was one of the best to do that shit. Everybody in my family was on there. I've been me since my birthday. I'm still me, man. Understand that, man. I don't care who you think you, I don't care who you think I am. I don't care who you think I am. I don't care who you perceive me to be in your mind. But I understand that you can only see me as much as you see yourself. So if you don't see yourself as the one, if you don't see yourself as enough, then I say, nigga, please, if you think you can tell me about me.